here at Walmart this morning for your shopping. It's a nice sunny day. So let's see what we can get for $10 today. See you inside. Here we go. This store has a pretty decent fresh produce section. So let's see what I can find for a few fruits and vegetables so I can eat a little healthy this week. I found a nice size bag of scallions for 54 cents, which I'm really happy about because that'll go great with the tortillas I want to make this week. I found green bell peppers for 58 cents, which is the regular price. I'm just going to buy one of them for a little bit of flavor and fiber. Bananas at 42 cents a pound are one of the cheapest deals I can find in the produce section. So I'm going to buy about five of them and try to get some ones that are a little green so they don't go bad too fast. About two pounds of bananas for less than 84 cents. Now let's head to the bread section to see what I can find to fit into my $10 budget this week. The best deal I found was a bag of La Banderita white corn tortillas, 30 count for $1.27. I usually buy the wheat tortillas, but this was a much better deal and I like that they are also very low in salt. Next is the bean section. The best deal here is pinto beans for 92 cents a pound. I originally wanted to get these black beans, but they're $1.44 a pound and not as cost effective and pinto beans will work just great. So let's put that into the cart. All this food is really tempting, but I'm sticking to my $10 budget. So let's see what we find next. And I am in luck here. I found some great value pasta sauce with meat for a dollar. And I am not disappointed with the pasta. I found thin spaghetti, a whole pound for 82 cents. So let's add that to the cart. Next, I want to find a cheap high fiber cereal so that I can feel full even though I'm paying very little for groceries this week. I found this great value Raisin Bran cereal for $1.98 for about 19 ounces. And again, I wanted a cereal that was high in fiber, which this provides. It also has raisins in it to add a little bit more fruit on a week that we're going to be a little bit lighter in produce. I have almost everything I'm going to get except for eggs and milk. So I'm about to head to that section. A lot of delicious items over here in the dairy section. Very tempting, especially when you're shopping on a budget. Luckily, the dairy section did not disappoint because a dozen large eggs are only 78 cents. And if I were to buy anything extra, it would be the eggs because they are packed full of protein and I love them. Let's grab one of these cartons because I will be eating these all week. Even more amazingly, a gallon of milk is 98 cents. I'm going to get a gallon of 2% milk. We really like that in our house because it's nice and creamy. And we will really be drinking this all up because it's going to be in the cereal and high fiber cereal tends to absorb a lot of milk. It looks like I've got everything. So I'm going to add this all up and tell you the grand total. Everything I got in this cart today is a pretty good deal, so I'm going to go over these prices with you slowly. The milk was 98 cents, the scallions 54 cents, the cereal was $1.98, and the tortillas $1.27, the pasta sauce was $1, the spaghetti was 82 cents, the bananas 80 cents, and next we have the green bell pepper for eight for 58 cents and the pinto beans for 92 cents. And this all came to a grand total of 967, which you know without using coupon apps or clipping coupons, I think 
is a really good deal. It might not look like a lot of food, um, but the fiber in the beans and fiber in the raisin bran will fill you up somewhat. I would have liked to have more uh, vegetables, but the beans and the scallions and the peppers will do for this week, as will the bananas and the raisins and the raisin bran. So health-wise, this is not too bad for the price. So I'm going to go check all of this out at the register. The lines are always full at this store. That was a productive shopping trip. I managed to stay under $10 for the budget. Now I'm going to take this food home and show you how I ate it for a week. See you soon. On days one to five for breakfast, I'm having one and a half cups of Raisin Bran with one cup of milk and a banana. On days six and seven, I'm having about two cups of Raisin Bran with about one and a quarter cups of milk and there's still going to be a little more raisin bran left so you can feel free to just have the rest of it so for about three lunches i'm having the thin spaghetti with red sauce so basically a one pound box of thin spaghetti is lasting for three meals and a uh, the one jar of red sauce is also lasting for three meals with about three quarters of a cup of red sauce used each time and it makes for a pretty hearty serving. Now the only tip I have for this is just use about a tablespoon of any kind of oil that you have after the pasta is cooked so that the pasta doesn't absorb all the red sauce and that way it tastes better. So for three of the seven days on this shopping budget menu we had a spaghetti with red sauce. Now for the other four days I'm having um, pinto bean salad with green peppers and scallions so all I added is oil, pepper, salt and vinegar and I've got two hard boiled eggs and I'm just pan frying a few of these little tortillas to eat with it since the pack came with like 30 tortillas. Dinner for about five nights is going to be my easy homemade refried beans in tortillas. So I have three quarters of a cup of pinto beans in this sandwich bag here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick it up and start squeezing it with my hands until it's all mashed up. It took me just a few short minutes to mash up these beans. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this teaspoon of oil here right into the bag. Okay, into this bag I'm going to put a little bit of pepper to taste. A little bit of salt. Okay. And then finally what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to take this nice scallion here and I'm going to cut it with my food scissors really easily and then put that into the bag too. Okay, so I added another teaspoon of oil just to make this a little more um, smooth and I uh, cut up the scallions and I put them in. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to do is put these on tortillas. You can eat them on cold tortillas or you can warm them up in the pan and uh, put this mixture on it and that's, that's going to be dinner. Now I used a small sandwich bag um, just for an example. You can go ahead and make a really big Ziploc bag full of this so you don't have to prep it more than once. And it's, um, it's to me it's much easier than pulling out my food processor and washing the blades and everything. So it's just uh, an easy way, especially if you don't have a lot of money. You could probably find a bag in your house somewhere to use. 
and you've got your hands for crushing. So it's very simple. I just scooped about one third of the content of this little sandwich bag onto each of these three tortillas. And this is what I'm going to be eating for about five nights this week for dinner. And again, if you have other ingredients on hand, you can feel free to flavor it how you want, but I wanted to make this easy for people who really don't have a lot on hand. For the final two nights for dinner, we're going to have uh, scrambled eggs with scallions and salt and pepper in three tortillas. So when this is done, I'm going to serve it up. Okay, this is dinner for the last two nights, and it is scrambled eggs, scallions, salt, and pepper in three white corn tortillas, and we're just going to fold <clears throat> fold these over and eat them up. And this is a great diet to have when you're strapped for cash, if you got to pay an emergency bill or something like that, you know, you've got to get through some tough times. Certainly this will feed you well and you can always add some other items to your budget. If you have a few extra dollars, like a little bit of meat, some extra produce, uh, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please go ahead and subscribe if you liked it and I enjoyed um, doing this for you and I will see you again.